Pino Vatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video of him that's coming at you once again live from San Jose, California. We are trying out this new setup over here. I'm going to be making a video on that, of course. But anyways, getting on with the topic of today's video, you guys are wondering, hey man, what about that uh, audio system you posted on Instagram? I installed it. I've been having it now for about 500-ish, uh, 500-ish 500 miles. I've been riding this bike, of course, just trying out different things. Uh, more videos to come guys, but anyways uh, I made a video on the uh, MTX uh, What is this called? Road Thunder by Karaokin Soundbar Bluetooth. It's a nice device uh, It's a lot cheaper than Plex audio. I think it's you know, it's around there with uh, some other audio units maybe the uh, The uh, Harley the Harley uh, speaker pods you're looking at about what is that maybe uh, seven no I think it's like 400 500 bucks but uh, anyways getting on with the uh, with the video we have some passerbys over here uh, people checking me out I guess or I don't know they're probably me mugging me I don't know I'm scared <laughs> anyways uh, getting on yeah so I made a video on this maybe about two weeks ago like a first impressions type of video and I was using a different helmet. Now that I'm using my Rurock helmet, man, it's you know it's a difference of night and day. Uh, the audio sound it really depends on what you're using, what your lid is. Uh, you know, with my Simpson helmets, of course the <laughs> the you know they're loud helmets. They're not that great. Uh, so I was able to hear my sound system or my sound bar, my Kuriak and Road Thunder sound bar. Uh, at max, you know, max settings, I could hear it. I enjoyed it, I liked it, but now that I'm using my Rurok, which I've been recently using, I just finished painting it. What do you guys think? Watch a lot, eh? You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I just finished painting this one and I've been using it and man, I just can't hear I can't hear my, my music, my tune, so if you're out there and you're wondering, you know, what do you think about this MTX? I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I like, you know, having that option or having that uh, that orange wire. I don't know if you guys see my install. As soon as I turn the bike on, it turns on. I don't have to reach in. I don't have to push a button or anything like that. I think that's pretty neat. I do like it with this. You know, if Plex Audio had that too, I think I would have liked that as well, but... I believe they I mean I believe the reason why they did it the method they, they did is some people are really hesitant on splicing into their wires so I think that's probably what happened with that I think that's the reason why uh, Plex Audio doesn't have that 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 available wire that additional wire I think you could technically wire it from instead of to the battery you could wire it to one of uh, one of those uh, auxiliary wires of course it's a 12 volt the battery itself output 12 volts those wires they also output 12 volts so maybe you could do it instead of you know having to push that button every time but uh i think the overall looks on the uh, on the handlebars you know it's an ugly i mean it's 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 a little hideous in my opinion i don't like the way it looks i tried installing this on on this side kind of like my plex audio i tried it putting the sound bar behind my risers but this bracket will only mount this 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 way i mean yes you could you know you could move this but uh yes you see that right there it doesn't uh it doesn't lock in if these uh if these bolts are flipped instead of vertically like you see right here and uh landscape or horizontal it won't uh it won't hold up the the uh the speaker pod or the speak uh the speaker bar it's not going to hold it up so you can't mount it behind the uh, risers and you're supposed to have them as close as possible <laughs> to you. If you guys see my Plex Audio, that mounts behind your risers. And you can still hear those speakers. I mean, they're loud. They're a lot bigger than this. These are, what, I what three, four-inch speakers. I think they're smaller than that. They're not that big. Plex Audio, you have a 5.25 uh, or 5 and a quarter, which are loud speakers. And you have a little bit more, more wattage. But, I mean, that's, what, twice the cost. And I believe they recently... Uh, increase their price so now you're looking a little bit over a thousand bucks so plex audio they look good they sound good they're clear they're loud 
this one however for the 400 bucks you know what you have some sound and they sound decent and I guess they don't look that bad but man I mean I, I would just say I really you know I really responded to a few comments on my Instagram I really I, I really recommended buying the Plex audio over this so I mean it is what it is um, would I recommend this I guess if you're on a budget but if you're wearing a helmet kind of like this or you know a helmet that's good on on sound control you're not going to be able to hear your <laughs> your tunes and if you're doing you know high you know high uh high miles per hour if you're doing high speeds and you don't have a a fan or you don't have a uh a uh a windshield you're not going to be able to hear your tunes so now you know if, if that's the case i think you're pretty much better off just putting the uh, the audio jbl speakers in your helmet i think that might be your best bet you could probably save a buck as well because i mean you're looking at 400 bucks for this you have that uh jbl or whatever cardo whatever you want to use i believe that's what a little bit over 200 bucks or almost 200 dollars depending if you get an old one uh and the battery life on those are about four hours so i don't know you guys go ahead and leave a comment down below you guys let me know what you guys think like i said it doesn't pass the visual test it doesn't pass the sound test uh but i guess it passes the uh, the price test i guess i mean that's i guess that's it uh between this and my speaker pods uh i think my speaker pods uh because yeah i also have the speaker pods i think they're pretty good on the speaker pods because you could you know move them down here somewhere else if you guys saw my other bike on my metric i had the speaker pods around the risers and i could hear them just fine so man uh i don't know i mean i guess this would fall into the ease of installation let me say a couple good things i have you know, been bashing on it you have this uh bluetooth connector right here which is pretty neat i could control my tunes and my my music player via uh bluetooth connections right here this little you have the volume volume and you have the skip for the pause and the power i think the pause and the power kind of do the same thing um yeah i mean you have that you don't have that option with a plex audio unless you spend the extra hundred and something dollars but if you waited for like a black friday or one of their special events they actually give that out so the next time you see it you might be able to get that kind of like a combo a freebie but like i said let's let's focus on the ntx so you have that um another one ease of installation with the speaker pods you have to figure out where to put the amp on my metric i had to put it in the uh in the battery cover or i'm sorry this is or whatever you call it on a metric side cover i'm just gonna call it a side cover i put it in my side cover typically where you put your owner's manual it has a little pocket so i was able to hide that i didn't have to put it in my saddlebags which you could do but i didn't want to do that so i guess on this one i guess i could put it in my fork bag riser bag handlebar bag you can hide it in there if i mean if that was the case but i'm just saying ease of installation you have the amp in here you have the bluetooth so it's you know in sense it's a little bit easier to install if you don't want to you know wire from your amp to your speakers and your speakers to your controls kind of like on my speaker pods on the plex audio that's kind of like 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 i said that's all in one unit you don't have to uh you know worry about placing the um, the amp or the bluetooth receiver on that it's all in there kind of like this so ease of installation i guess that i mean that's one of the benefits and uh, the price so i don't know you guys let me know in the comments i tried cleaning this up as much as i could i don't like this big old fat wire so i angled the speakers a little bit down more on the instructions in the manual you're supposed to aim them up and have them as close as possible to your face but uh, I just I, I didn't like them sticking up here kind of like what you see on some of the other setups They're sticking up here. I wanted to clean up the top of the, uh, of, the of the bike. So that's why I placed them down there. So I don't know. It just 
just me. I mean, I still like them. I just don't think uh, they're probably worth the 400 bucks. But you know what? That's just me. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. This is just my, you know, my honest opinion, uh, my first impressions, and I guess I don't know. Maybe I'll follow up. Um, yeah, just stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Last risk, get out there and ride. Later.